uh, one thing you can do, and I, I've talked about this in past sessions, it's um, it works pretty darn well. If you come up with six characters for a password, so come up with an upper and lowercase letter in it, have a number in it and have some sort of crazy character, you know, like an exclamation point or a pound symbol or something. So you have these six characters, you lock them in your head and you go, okay, this is going to be something I'm going to remember forever. Then every website you go to, look at the domain name, www.whateveritis.com. So let's say it's yahoo.com. Then use some part of that domain name in your password. So let's say you choose, I'm gonna use the first two letters of every website I go to. So in this case, it'd be Yahoo. So you'd have your six characters, you type those in because you're never gonna forget those. And then you type the Y and the A from Yahoo as the last two characters. So now that is one password. The next website you go to is Google. So you type in those six characters and then G-O for Google. And if you do that for every website you go to, you'll always have a unique password. And yet it's really easy to remember because you're remembering the six characters. And then you just look, where am I? That's the other two characters. And you could do any, it doesn't have to be the first two. You might use the first one and the last one, or the first one and the last two, or whatever you come up with. But you lock that in and you just make that, that's gonna be your password going forward. It'll always be unique, yet you'll always remember it.